guys welcome back so I'm sitting by my Christmas tree so okay fun fact my Christmas tree is from 2001 it's very aged <laughs> so this is the tree that I've had in my family since I was like 11 years old um, and then after I got married my dad just gave me the tree because he didn't want to have the tree <laughs> he just gave it to me so um it's pretty old it's pre-lit and after all these years it still does fine i think it's like a seven foot or something i don't know but um i've always loved this tree so this is the first year i've ever put uh done burlap for garland i usually just do like the old-fashioned like sparkly garland like wrapping around it but um i've seen that lots of people like to do this burlap thing now so i actually got some of this um when walmart's fall decor went on sale um it was like 50 percent off i got this like 30 foot roll of burlap for like a dollar or something and i just cut it up and it's really pretty i've got a few different strips around the tree um and then i don't pack a ton of ornaments on here i've just got like there's probably only like less than 20 ornaments on here if i had to guess um, cause I like the lights to set, to stand out on their own. Um, and this year I did, uh, put some like random antlers on the tree. So yeah, that is my tree. And this is a deer that my husband killed. It's on a, this is called a European mount. Ooh, it's so pretty. So anyways, um, the point of this video is it's the end of November. So I have my November empties to show you. As you can see, not a ton of stuff this month, um, but still a significant amount of products used up. So basically I'm gonna go through and show you all these products that I went through and give you a little mini review on them. So I do this video every month. I've been doing my empties videos all year and I love doing this. It has become like a favorite video of mine to do because I'm seeing all the products that I'm going through and it's just so satisfying. So let's start out with some of these foil packets. So first I went through this little sample of um, Garnier Whole Blends Shampoo and Conditioner. This is the Oat Delicacy. I have had so many samples of this, but I actually like them. They smell good, um, but don't let these foil packets deceive you. They are pretty small. They're always just a one use type of thing for me. Um, they're just a third of an ounce a piece. So yeah, it's just one time and honestly the conditioner isn't really even like big enough to do all my hair So I usually add a little extra conditioner, but um, I Actually like the stuff. It smells pretty good. Like I said, and I enjoy it next I used this sheet mask that I got okay before I get to talking about oh, can you see it? Can you see it? I got to mention this. Okay, so you guys know we just got a, out of like Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all, all that, whatever that's called, <laughs> all that stuff, which I did order quite a bit of Christmas presents for my husband. So I had been mentioning it here and there to my husband and just for like a long time, I've been wanting an actual camera because if you guys didn't know, I film on my iPhone. It's the iPhone 6. It's an older iPhone and I've wanted an actual camera for quite a while. And I'm so excited because I told my husband, like I said, I told him that I kind of wanted a camera, but he had no clue like what kind I wanted. I didn't have a clue what kind I wanted. So since it's still cyber week for some websites, he let me go on Best Buy and pick out the camera that I wanted. And I ordered it this morning <laughs> and I'm so excited because I think it's going to be a good one. Um, it wasn't like a super duper expensive, crazy one, but I think it's going to be like a step up from my iPhone and I'm, it should have autofocus. So like when I'm showing you guys products like this, it will focus it in better. And I'm so, so excited about it. So, but I don't know if he's gonna make me wait till Christmas to have it or what, <laughs> cause it should be here next week. <laughs> but anyways, for the time being, I'm gonna have to adjust my lighting and stuff. Um, so this is a sheet mask that I used up from an Adore box, I believe. So this was a cucumber collagen essence mask. Nothing too crazy to note about this one. It felt nice um, and was moisturizing, but that's about it. Um, okay, this next thing was the coolest thing ever. I got this in an, in an Adore box as well. 
um, a few months back and I knew that I would want to save it till this time of year because this was a hand mask. So it was basically these gloves that you put on and it says anti-aging and moisturizing. So it was gloves that you put on, but inside the gloves, there was like crazy amounts of lotion and you wore that for about 20 minutes or so and took it off and it was really moisturizing and I really enjoyed it. This was perfect because if you guys have missed it here and there, I've mentioned it like 20,000 times. Um, I work part-time at a deer processing uh, business this time of year, constantly have my hands in raw meat and I'm washing my hands all the time. My hands get super, super dry this time of year. And this was really, really nice. Um, definitely moisturizing and it was it was a fun product and it was actually a korean product so that was cool um also i want to mention this if you guys see this don't freak out um and this here on my finger um surprise i got poison ivy again um so once again i keep saying this if you didn't know if you didn't know um i am pretty allergic to poison ivy and of course a couple weeks ago i was working on some goat fence and probably touched some of it and didn't realize it and it's healing up now that's why it looks all scabby and stuff so we're on the mend but if you see that it's poison ivy i've got it like all over my legs and whatnot so yay poison ivy yes you can still get it even when everything's dead outside because it's cold you can still get poison ivy just from touching like the vine or whatever it doesn't have to be touching the leaf just in case you need to know that uh, next, I used this little sample of Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. I got like about a week's use out of this because it's a small sample, but when you're just putting like a little tiny bit under your eyes, it lasts for a while. And all that I could really say about this is that it was super moisturizing and it felt really nice under my eyes, but I couldn't really tell that it, it says it brightens and stuff. And it did smooth. I would say that it smoothed under my eyes, but I don't know if it like brightened or made me look younger or anything. What do you guys think? I've been using it the, like the last week. Do I look younger? Um, anyways. <laughs> Next, I went through one of my contact solutions. This is Clear Care Plus. It is a hydrogen peroxide um, contact solution. You put your contacts in this little bubbly thing. It's not like a regular contact solution. Um, but this stuff is pretty expensive. And I think the last time I had to get that, or the last time I bought it, I didn't have any coupons for it. So I had to pay full price. It's like 10 bucks for that. Look. Um, here's another little foil packet sort of sample that I used. This was a Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. I actually have another one of these samples in my cabinet that I need to use. And this stuff is so good. I'd had this sample for a while and I don't know why it took me so long to use it up. So it's basically just like a scrub body polish type, type stuff. It says crushed macadamia and rice milk. I can still smell it in there and it sm I thought it smelled so, so good. I've heard some people say that they don't like the scent. I don't know if they have other scent options, but um, it was really nice, so I did like that. Next, I used up this little Pantene foam conditioner that I got in my Walmart beauty box. And this was the second time, second or third time I had used a foam conditioner. And I, I thought that I liked them, but you know, I got like a few uses out of this and I just didn't really notice that it did anything for me. Um, so I wasn't overly wowed by it by any means so yeah foam conditioner it was fun to use but I didn't really I couldn't really tell that you know it made my hair feel great or anything um so yeah now I included this in here it is not quite empty but I literally have like one more use out of it so I thought I'd go ahead and put it in my empties um this is a makeup remover bliss makeup melt I got this in a target beauty box um, it's a dry, wet, gentle jelly cleanser. And I actually really, really enjoyed this stuff. It was basically, I used it like a face wash. I have a little, um, it's not a Clarisonic, but it's like a, I actually got it from Peaches and Petals. It's a little cheap Clarisonic type thing that you, you know, it's like a little power brush that you wash your face with. And I would put some of this on that brush and wet my face and just remove my makeup. And this stuff felt really good. Um, it did not dry my skin out at all. 
Um, so I would definitely consider buying this in the future. Um, but as always, I'm always working through all different kinds of samples. So I don't know, um, like when I would buy it because I'm just going to be moving on to another sample, but I did really like this. Another sample that is not quite empty, but I wanted to include it this month is this Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. I actually just got this in my Ipsy bag. I uh, redeemed points and got this for free. I love this moisturizer. It is a, what does it call it? It's like a oil-free, lightweight gel cream. It's very lightweight and I really, really enjoy this stuff. It feels so good on the skin and it soaks in nice. I've been using this like ever since I got the sample and I probably got like one or two more uses and I'm gonna be sad when it's out, but once again, something else I would definitely consider buying. Next is a product with my hair on it. Can you see that? Doo -doo -doo. Um, okay, so this is a roll-on deodorant from Le Jolie Beauty Labs. I got this in a Peaches and Petals, I believe. Peaches and Petals or Mini Mystery Box, I can't remember. Um, this is a lavender roll-on deodorant. As you can hear, it is still very full. I gave this a fair, fair shot. I use this stuff a lot. I used it several times. It does have a, it does have a very, very nice lavender scent, but I don't really like roll-on deodorants because you put them on, your underarms feel wet. I do not like that feeling. And it did not help like with uh, like a deodorant should. Like I could smell myself like later on. It almost, to me, it felt almost felt like it amplified um, pit smell, which I don't really have a lot of trouble with, you know, BO or anything like that. But I did not like this. And like I said, I gave it a really fair shot. I probably used it for a solid month. And I mean, I could use this forever. It is so full of product that, I, but I'm like, I don't like it. So I'm going to throw it away. Got it. Quick, before I throw this away, if you guys have any suggestions of something else I could use this for. I mean, it's got like a, a lot of really good stuff in it. I mean, it's all natural, but it did not help under my arms and my pits. So I don't know what else I would do with it. All right, next, me and my husband went through another of these uh, Crest Gum Detoxify Toothpaste. Um, I've mentioned this before. I like to get this toothpaste uh, because me and my husband like it. And it's usually on Ibotta for like two bucks back. So the last several months I've been, we've been using this toothpaste and we like it pretty well. Because it is a little expensive, um, but it doesn't, I, I think it makes my teeth feel good. Um, my gums don't hurt and sometimes I do have like some like problems with my gums kind of receding in places and making my teeth feel sensitive and this I think this helps pretty good. Next I had this itty bitty little sample of uh what's it called? Extraordinary translucent powder from Ciate. I got this this month from my Ipsy. It was just a tiny little sample of um, translucent powder. And I did what I said I was going to do in that video. I just opened it up and I dumped it into my translucent powder that I already use and mixed it in. And the powder that I already use is the Cody Airspun. Uh, I think it's just translucent. I don't even know what you call it. It's like it has... It's supposed to be just translucent basically, but it's not white. But anyways, I've mixed this in, so I don't know exactly how I would like this on its own, but since I've mixed it in, I haven't had any issues with my uh, translucent powder. So um, next I went through this. I finished this up at the beginning of the month. This is an Olay Total Effects Whip. This was just a moisturizer. I got this in a Target box, I believe. And I really, really liked this. If you've ever used Olay products, they all kind of have that same scent. And I really like it. And it felt really good on my skin. I was using this, and then I switched to that Pure Lease Watermelon Balm. But um, this was a really good moisturizer. I liked it. I also used up this little Garnier Micellar Water. So I actually got this for free from Influencer. I've been posting about it on my Instagram if you want to check me out. Tiffany Johnson 82, 
cha-ching, check me out. Um, so I posted on there and kind of gave a little review. So I got this free in a Vox box, but this is just a cleansing water that you put on like a cotton pad and it takes your muck, your muck up off. And, um, I think it's pretty good. It removes your makeup, but I still definitely prefer washing my face. Um, I like to use micellar waters or cleansing waters like this on nights where I'm just like, I don't really want to take the time. I don't want to take the couple extra minutes to wash my face. I just want to take my makeup off and like forget about it. Um, but I, my, so my skin definitely feels better when I wash it, but this stuff does remove makeup pretty well. Next, I used up this little sample of La Roche Posay. This is the weird named thing, soothing repairing balm that I got in my Adore box. Um, I actually got two of these little samples, but I've used one of them up already. I think I got to use it like twice. It was a really small sample, but um, it did feel really good on my skin. I think I used it, actually, I think I used it on my face once. And then since it, it doesn't really say that it's specifically for your face, it says soothing repairing balm. And it's most of it is in French, so I wasn't really sure. So I think the rest of it I put on my hands because like I said, my hands have been super dry. Um, and it did feel really awesome on my hands, but I just got two uses out of the sample. Next, I used this little MAC strobe cream sample. I got this in an Adore box a while back. Um, and I actually just got this exact same sample in my Ipsy this month. Um, it's a strobe cream. So it's just like a really, what I would call like iridescent type primer so I didn't use it a ton because when you put it on it's you know it kind of makes your skin shiny um, and I just wasn't exactly sure if I was using it right so it took me a while to go through the sample but um I thought it was okay I just didn't I just don't really understand if I was using it right and very last we have this clean and clear deep action cream cleanser I bought this a long while back um, at Walmart, I actually bought a face wash. Like I usually get all these samples, but I actually went and bought this. This is the face wash that I use like a lot of my time through college. And I was pretty happy with this. My husband liked it too. So it's possible that I could buy this again in the future. All right. So that was everything that I used up during the month of November. As always, I always say this, I didn't have that many samples this month, but look at the length of this video. It's like 20 minutes long. Can you believe that? So, but I did kind of talk about my tree for a little bit, so that's my excuse. But anyways, thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for staying for this long of a video. And I'm waiting to get my snack with me box for November. I haven't got it yet. So we will see when that's gonna be here. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already because I post a brand new video every single Friday. So I'll see you guys next time.